Tab Singh Khachrivas. Uh, he is one of the loyalists of Gelot. There are dramatic developments, viewers, that are taking place, and I want to quickly uh, take you through them one by one. Now, what the MLAs, which were all holed up at Shanti Dhariwal, who's a cabinet minister, a loyalist of Ashok Gelot, at his residence. After three hours, they have come out and they have said that they are willing to resign because the high command hasn't quite consulted with them. Uh, what is coming out there is that the MLAs that had gathered at Gelot's house wanted one of them to be the next in line of succession. Well, their point was that two uh, years ago, when Sachin Pilot had stitched together this rebellion, at that point of time, these were these 102 MLAs that had stuck by Ashok Gelop, that had stuck by the Congress. And uh, that is what the High Command needs to look at, and one of them needs to be taken up and put at the position of the Chief Minister. Right now, they insist that Ashok Gelop is still the Rajasthan Chief Minister. They say about 80 of these MLAs have already tendered in their resignation. Uh, they're going to just come in here at Speaker C.P. Joshi's residence uh, to submit that resignation. But let me just tell you, you know, uh, in terms of how dramatic all of this is, because 200 meters on that side is eight civil lines. That's the chief minister's residence. That is where the official CLP was to take place, viewers. It was to take place at 7 p.m. Let's listen in to reactions that are coming in and we're going to cut across to Rajdeep Sardesai, our consulting editor. But let me tell you again, uh, Sachin Pilot right now is still inside, uh, humiliated, I am sure, waiting for the CLP to begin with 18 of his loyalist MLAs. Uh, the Chief Minister Ashok Gehloth, who is inside, hasn't met him yet. However, his route in terms of the chief minister's car route has been laid and he is looking to leave very soon. Is he going to try uh, and speak to the MLAs? Because the MLAs, at least on the face of it, are saying that even Ashok Gehlot should have spoken with them. Uh, dramatic developments. I want to quickly bring in our consulting editor, uh, Rajdeep Sardesai, into this conversation. You know, Rajdeep, uh, you know, this is classic Congress and the disarray that the party is in because whatever is going down, there is no way is going down without the chief minister in the know, which is Ashok Gehlot, the man who is going to apparently step in to be the Congress president. His main job would be to holding the party, you know, to hold the party together. And right now, where we are standing, you know, at the cross section where half of his MLAs are threatening to quit and destabilize the Rajasthan government, which is the Congress. You know, there's a dichotomy here. Absolutely. I think that's one of the biggest ironies that at a time when uh, Ashok Gehlot is being pitched for the top job in the Congress in terms of being Congress president in his own state, he, in a way, is being seen as the person behind a revolt of his own MLAs against the choice of the Gandhi family. So in a way, what you're seeing here is very different to what you saw in Punjab a year ago. In Punjab, Amrinder Singh wanted to rebel against the decision of the Congress leadership to remove him from office, but he was unsuccessful because he didn't have the numbers. Here, Ashok Gehlot, like it or not, has a majority of the support of the MLAs. And if you think what is going on has no stamp of Ashok Gehlot, well, then there is absolute, whatever Patrap Singh Kachiawal may have said there, it is clear that this has been planned, orchestrated by the Gehlot camp with the active support of the chief minister. Because when I spoke to Mr. Gehlot off the record, it was eminently clear he was not keen on Sachin Pilot becoming the chief minister. He believes that Mr. Pilot tried to bring down his government, destabilize him only two years ago. And that, in a way, has still haunted Ashok Gehlot and his relationship with Mr. Pilot. Those bridges have been burnt. Therefore, his argument is you cannot impose Sachin Pilot on Rajasthan. I am ready to come to Delhi, but the MLAs must be consulted. And the choice of the new chief minister must be left to the MLAs. And because the Congress High Command or the Gandhi family is so weakened at the moment, Ashok Gehlot probably thinks he can get away with this brinkmanship. What you're seeing is brinkmanship. The MLAs are going to resign, not with the idea that their resignation will be accepted by C.P. Joshi, but create a situation it's, uh, where you the know, I want to just come in. The said, fact is, how humiliating, Rajdeep, is it for Sachin Pilot? Because he continues to wait right now inside the chief minister's residence with 18 of his loyalists. He was hoping today that the CLP meeting would come up unanimously with this one-line resolution, which is that... Uh, 
the high command will decide who will be the next chief minister of Rajasthan and he has the proverbial hand of the high command. Deeply humiliating for him. But the writing on the wall, Rajdeep, where the Gandhis are concerned, because the Gandhis might have picked Pilot as the chief minister of Rajasthan, succeeding uh, <coughs> Ashok Gehloth, but the fact that they have picked Ashok Gehloth as the party president is the man today. Uh, and you know, nobody can deny it. What is going down in Rajasthan Congress today that Ashok Gehloth is not behind it or not in the know of what is going on. And he's a man who's supposed to keep the Congress together. You know, what is happening in Rajasthan mirrors, uh, Preeti, what is wrong with the Congress. The left hand sometimes doesn't know what the right hand is doing. When Ajay Markan left... Coming in. The, the bus... All right, I want to quickly cut across right now, Rajdeep. This is the bus of all the MLAs uh, that is coming in to CP Joshi's residence. The speaker, all of them would be giving in their resignation. They say there are 92 of them is what... Uh, now, you know, one might as well just call it the Geloth camp, all of them going to CP Joshi's residence in this bus. This bus was parked outside uh, Shanti Dariwal's residence uh, all afternoon when the MLAs were there in a huddle. And uh, finally, uh, you know, lots of speculations abound on what really went down, but this is what went down. Another resolution was passed in the unofficial CLP meeting, and that resolution was that they are going to resign unanimously because they feel that their uh, uh, point of view, uh, where the MLA, the CLP Congress, is, uh, Rajasthan is concerned, was not taken in. Uh, they do not want, uh, they say that they have nothing against Sachin Pilot, but they don't want him uh, to head the party, especially one year from election. Uh, they wanted one of the 102 MLAs that actually stuck by the Congress party uh, when two years ago Sachin Pilot, along with his loyalists, stitched together uh, uh, a rebellion of sorts and they were the ones who kept the party float, they say. And uh, the next in line, even if Ashok Gehloth under the one position, one man, uh, rule of the Congress needs to step down from the Chief Minister's chair. It needed to be one of the 102 MLAs who would step up. Complete trust deficit, lack of confidence where Sachin Pilot is concerned, deeply humiliating for him. What does Sachin Pilot do, who still right now, just about uh, 300 meters from here, is at the residence uh, of the Chief Minister, hoping for the official CLP to start. But this bus hasn't quite uh, gone there, but uh, has actually come in. Uh, to the residence of the speaker to tender in resignations.